Are you super excited to learn? Yes! yes. yes. So for those of you with the all-answer pass, by the end of this experience, I'm going to bring you back here, give you your jacket for the boat ride, but behind the glass will we'll only exit from the National Geographic Museum. Yes. 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 Not yet. Oh. We still have the lake shore. Oh. Wow. Our so nice. first stop. First stop. It is our main time platform. And our main time platform is a representation of an island being in Abu Dhabi called Butina Island. Butina Island is a marine protected area, not open for oh, time. Angel, we will leave a negative impact the ocean. What then are the functions of sea turtles? They function as ocean regulators. They have inhabitant maintenance. Sea turtles are of economic importance and they are considered to be peaceful species. Out of the seven sea turtle species in the world, there are five sea turtles in Arabia. There are five sea turtles in the Gulf. There are five sea turtles in Arabia. Five sea turtles in the Gulf. Do you want to know? Hawksbill turtle, green sea turtle, loggerhead turtle, leather bat turtle, olive leaf turtle. There are five sea turtles in the Gulf. How many sea turtles do we have in every Gulf? Good boy, can you clap yourselves? Good. Good job. Thank you. When you call that number, our rescue team will come to you with an ambulance, a blanket of eight on the turtle, we bring them here, we we'll feed them, we we'll provide them mineral supplement, antibiotics that can help to boost up their immune system when they get better. All turtles will go back into the ocean. And I'm going to talk to you. And daddies, uncles, and aunties in the sea, plastics free, water free. All do you prefer? Baby shark, baby shark, where are you? So we we allow the animals to do their natural behavior. So if you don't mind, please do not try to make contact with the animals. These are free flying birds. They can live up to 40 to 60 years. They can even outlive their owners. And you can find them also in the Congo rainforest. Instead of water, instead of the soil, you use water that has nutrient solution. The nice. nutrient solution supplies nutrients to the root of the plant. And instead of the sunlight, we use the UV light for the plant to photosynthesize. So we grow all of these lettuce and we feed them to African manatees because they need to eat about 21 kg of food daily, 8% of their body weight. We also feed them sweet potatoes and we also feed them pellets too. What then are the benefits of having an hydroponic garden? No soy, water saving, uh, fast growth, a higher yield, less diseases, it is affordable, no weeds, no pesticides. These are some of the benefits of having an hydroponic garden. And then you can see the manatees from the surface there. African manatees are very significant. Yeah, mama, put your hands here, and you can also see. Planktons form the base of the food web of the ocean, and it accounts for about 85% of the world's oxygen. Their presence in the ocean means good health of an ecosystem. And there are two types of plankton, phytoplankton and zooplankton. Phyto is a plant part of plankton. Costly, so patient the eggs, 25 degrees. How many days? 80 days. What we do here, we call it shark breeding and repopulation program. This is because their conservation status says they are their treatment. So we need to help them. When it hurts, it's a lizard. It's a super big lizard. So ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to the Professor's Academy. I present to you our resident professor, not a human professor, but a lizard. You are looking at the second biggest lizard in the world after Komodo dragon. The name Asian Water Monitor Lizard. Our old lizard, 13 years old, it was born and raised under human care in California, United States of America. That is to say, it is a captive queen. It was born under human care.
So where can you find these lizards? South and Southeast Asia, India, mm -hmm. Indonesia, Malaysia, Sri Lanka, mm -hmm. Taiwan. Mm -hmm. Also in the Philippines, yeah. you can find this lizard. This lizard and snakes are the only two known species of animals with bug tongue. They use their tongue to test the air. This is how they know the distance and the location of their prey. It is a semi Snakes. And in our snake and ladder zoo, we have reticulated pythons. They are the longest snakes in the world. And they are much will be taller than the flamingo. <laughs> That's taller. Good. He's about 130. Good. So, greater flamingos 160. When flamingos are born as babies, they are born gray or white. Who knows what they eat and then they become pink? <laughs> Who will tell me? Shrimp. Yes, you! Me. We clap for mama. <laughs> because I told my mom. You told her and then you forgot? Yeah. <laughs> okay, one more question. What should we come back to Abu Dhabi? Good job. The female will come back to Abu Dhabi. All female sea turtles return back to where they were born to meet their babies for the next generation. And only one out of a thousand baby may likely grow to become an adult turtle. That's right. Good. You find them in the canopy layer of the rainforest. From their big to their toe, macaws can grow up to 100 centimeters. And the character we have there, better than me. Whenever you hear coral bleaching, it means the water is acidic. And the acidity of the water is a product of SSCO2 for the animal. Okay, go, go in the middle. Go in the middle. Go in the middle. Something is coming. Okay, you fit them.
Let's go. Uh, David. 